With the NBA Summer League coming to a close and all of the rookies signing on to their respective teams, it's time to look at rookies who might be sleepers in the upcoming season. And of course, we all know about Zion Williamson, RJ Barrett, and Ja Morant. But there are guys who got drafted this year that could have a huge impact on their team this season. However, the NBA player that I want to talk about today actually went undrafted and he's really been overlooked for most of his life. His name is Kai Bowman and he's the junior point guard out of Boston College. Kai Bowman grew up in the city of Havelock, North Carolina and much of his time was spent with his older brother Michael. His dad died at a really young age and so Michael was really the father figure for Kai growing up. Now, Michael was committed to play football at the University of South Carolina, and Kai wanted to follow in his footsteps. What many people don't know about Kai is that he actually started out as a football player, and he was really good. He had been playing football since he was 8 years old, and in his town of Havelock, many kids saw football as one of the only ways to get out, especially in Bowman's own neighborhood, where only 4.4% of residents had a bachelor's degree. So following his brother's path as a wide receiver, Kai committed to the University of North Carolina when he was a sophomore in high school, and he planned to play both football on scholarship and walk on to the basketball team. He actually committed on the same day and at the same ceremony where his older brother Michael committed to play wide receiver at South Carolina. However, six months after committing to college, Michael was charged with multiple counts of misdemeanor larceny. Because of this arrest, the University of South Carolina pulled their scholarship and Michael wasn't allowed to play his senior season at Havelock. After his arrest, Kai's outlook drastically changed. He said, after my brother got in trouble, I saw that he didn't get a second chance, so it kind of fazed me not to want to play anymore. I played because my brother played and I liked playing with my brother. But that actually changed my standpoint because he didn't get to play his senior year. So after that season, I didn't play my senior year. I just stuck with basketball. Basketball was what I loved. Kai then decommitted from North Carolina and sought after basketball scholarships, which was going to be difficult because he was an incoming high school senior who was largely ignored because of his football plans. He even got a call from Alabama head coach Nick Saban asking him to play football for the Crimson Tide, but he responded to Saban saying, I'm not playing football. It was clear at this point that basketball was the only thing on Bowman's mind, and he definitely had his work cut out for him. The summer before his senior year of high school, Bowman's mom drove him three hours every Friday night to practice with a John Wall sponsored AAU team. Kai knew that by staying with him the entire weekend, his mom was missing hourly wages. However, his mom's sacrifice helped Bowman land offers from Boston College, Cincinnati, Missouri, and Cal, among others, within just a few months. Bowman eventually chose to play basketball at Boston College, after which one coach texted him, you just made the worst decision of your life. But this made Kai work even harder to have success at Boston College. In his freshman year, Kai averaged 14.3 points, 2.9 assists, and 4.8 rebounds per game, and that was good enough to get him a spot on the ACC All-Freshman team. However, Bowman's freshman season was very inconsistent, given that his brother was still behind bars, and that definitely affected Bowman's performance throughout the season. Over the Christmas break, when Bowman went home, he saw his brother Michael waiting for him. He got out early on probation. After seeing his brother come back home, Bowman went on an absolute tear. His next game was against Syracuse, and he poured in 30 points, shooting 7 for 8 on 3-point attempts. At this point, it was clear that Bowman was playing for more than himself. He said about his brother, I feel like I am his second chance. For something great to happen, I need a great thing for me to happen, so everybody will forget about the past and look at it forward. And Bowman's great plays didn't stop during his freshman year, as he continuously improved, and in his junior year at Boston College, he averaged 19 points, 4 assists, and 7.5 rebounds per game, and he also led the nation in minutes per game at 39.4. It was clear that Bowman would stop at nothing to make the NBA and prove all of his naysayers wrong. After declaring for the NBA draft following his junior year, Bowman was projected to be an early to mid second round pick in the draft. However, when teams called him during the second round offering him two-way contracts, 
he declined because he wanted to evaluate his options as an undrafted free agent, similar to what Alonzo Trier did last season. Bowman eventually signed a two-way deal with the Golden State Warriors, and their summer league coach Aaron Miles said about him, he was real genuine. That's the first thought that I had about him, is he's genuine. No fake stuff, none of that. Then I started to hear his story and I had another level of respect for him. You definitely see some explosiveness. You see that on defense, he scraps. That's the one thing you've gotta love about him. He's quick, puts pressure on the opposing players, he has an ability to get to certain spots. Now, Bowman is on a two-way contract with the Warriors, meaning that he can only spend up to 45 days with the team, and then he has to spend the rest of the season in the G League. But while Bowman may not see much playing time with the Warriors this season, he is someone who always strives to get better and he will continue to work. It wouldn't surprise me to see Bowman succeed in the NBA because guys like him always find a way to make it work. While Bowman is obviously a very talented and athletic basketball player, he is playing for something more than himself. He is playing for his family, for a second chance for his brother, and these motivations can definitely drive him to become a great NBA player. And with that, this video comes to an end. Thank you so much for watching. I really do hope that Kai Bowman ends up having a great career. I love seeing guys that get undrafted, defy all expectations, and end up proving their doubters wrong. Hopefully, he has a great career. If you like the video, leave a like and subscribe as there is a lot more content on the way.